objective will permit. I think the final experiment that I shall do just now is done by returning to the original slide and I'm going to take you on a journey through the microscope. The diffraction pattern occurs in the back focal plane of the objective, which is a few millimetres above the specimen, depending on the focal length of the objective. The image that you see when you look into the eyepiece or on your video screen here, the image occurs towards the top of the microscope tube. And I'm going to move my video camera, the one giving you the picture of the back focal plane that you see at the top of the screen. I'm going to move that on a bellows through the microscope so that you can see what happens when these diffracted beams reach the image plane. After all, they're coming up from the specimen, they're coming to a focus in the back focal plane of the objective, but they don't stop there. Having come to a focus, they cross over and diverge so that when they reach the image plane, they're spread out into relatively large areas. They overlap, interfere, and give rise to the final image. So what I'm going to do is simply now show you the back focal plane and begin to move the camera, the one showing you the back focal plane. You see that the diffracted beams and the zero order, they're going out of focus, they're spreading, they're getting larger, they're coming together, they're beginning to overlap, and you can see in the middle the image is just beginning to come as they overlap, and when we get to the correct distance, when we get the thing into focus, there you see an image of the object. So we're now up in the image plane, we'll go back down to the back focal plane. Gradually the spot of light that makes up the image is separating out into the diffracted beams. And there we have the diffraction pattern in the back focal plane. I'll do that once more, moving from the back focal plane up the microscope, up the microscope. And there's the image.